Hi there, my name is Tanner Thompson. I am in English 101, Writing and Rhetoric. Today I will be talking about a few things that came to my mind in the past few, probably two to, month, two to three months of the semester. Uh, I will not go into depth about any of the readings or prompts due to the blog that I have. Um, in the blog, I go into detail about, you know, what what the week looks like and what the readings were and all that type of good stuff. So I'm going to save that for the blog, and then I'm really going to kind of cut down on, I'd say, the Group 3 project, the final reflection, and then the e-portfolio. Kind of break those things down. First off, I'd like to start out with the, the group three project and a few things that I took away from that. Um, the first thing I'd like to start off with was, you know, the team charter. I feel like that was one of the biggest things that, you know, made it made it well because of the fact that, you know, we're online, but the team charter really kind of like help you get like a base schedule of what you needed to do for your group and when you're going to be meeting. I think that was extremely crucial because of the fact that, you know, we're all college students, we're all busy, we all got our, you know, endeavors that we want to be doing and stuff, but it's cool to take an hour out of your day to kind of meet with your group mates and kind of figure out things that you would like to get done for your project. Another thing that I thought was extremely cool was that we got to pick whatever topic we wanted. Uh, ours was on fraternities and how they affect college students' everyday life. Um, we kind of went into depth about how Mankato is not really big into frats. We didn't we didn't really know that we had frats actually until one of our group members said that she was in the frat, which was extremely cool. And we all kind of gathered up and we're like, hey, like let's do that because. None of us really know about it, but one of our group mates, and she would like to get the word out about the Mankato frats and what they have to offer and how they affect a college student's everyday life. So we got out, got our got our question that we needed to get, and we kind of went into depth with the librarian, which I thought was an extremely cool thing. I never knew that we could set up a meeting with the librarian and they could sit down with us and, you know, kind of go step by step on what this research paper should look like and kind of tell us the do's and the don'ts of what we should be researching. And she also, I was, I never really knew how to do the APA formatting stuff. And she sat down and talked with me about that and kind of helped me get a better understanding of that. So I'm super grateful that we got to set up a meeting with the librarian because I feel like that was a big takeaway from the semester for my future classes that I will be taking. Another thing I'd like to touch base on in the group project was that we got to spend, I feel like, a lot more time on this project just because there was five people and we really kind of got to like hone in on one article and really kind of pick it piece from piece and kind of take what we got from it and kind of go way more in depth. I feel like we had a lot of time on our hands to where we could really do good research and find out the real answers for, you know, what the frats were like in the Midwest. I thought that was extremely cool. I know it's extremely different for frats around here in Mankato than it is at the U. So I thought that was a cool smart spot to start. Another thing that I'd like to go in depth about on that too is the peer review that we had. I think that was very big for our our project and you know kind of in both ways I guess you could say where we can get feedback on what we should do better, you know, things that we can adjust and you know kind of take a look at our peers papers and kind of understand like okay like this is what you know our our peers look like and we things that we could take from it, things that we shouldn't take from it. I think that was also very beneficial as well. Another thing that I'd like to talk about with that project would be, you know, kind of the group work, the group dynamic part of it, 
and how, you know, you got group members that are willing to go the extra mile and then you got other group members that are kind of willing to do the bare minimum. And I feel like, you know, I've always strived to be one of the group members that always does, you know, the most to help out their group in the most ways that they can. And I feel like one of the ways that was extremely crucial was for our group to get work done right away instead of waiting till the last minute. I think we did a great job at that. So we all got our work done and we were able to kind of help each other out when it came down to crunch time. I feel like that was a huge part because we already had our work down. Now it was just the fine fine tuning it. And I, I thought that we did a great job on that. Another thing I'm gonna talk about today is the reflection. And you know, I talked about my group, my my projects on group, uh, my first project and my second project in my last blog. But I thought that it was really cool that I could kind of go back and reflect on this and kind of see how far I've grown as a writer. Um, you know, I like to I like to think I've gotten a lot better at writing just because I've taken this class. You know, I feel like it's had a lot of benefits for me. And when I was reflecting, I kind of like realized like all the things that I really learned throughout this semester, just like simple things like meeting with a librarian, like making sure your group gets your work done on time, just simple stuff that I feel like is going to go a long way for me in the future. Another thing that I thought was really, really beneficial was the ePortfolio. Um, it took me a few hours to kind of figure out what was really going down in that that application. I was extremely confused for the first part of it, but once I finally like sat down and you know kind of just tried to do it as hard as I could, uh, give my best foot forward on it, it slowly started to come together and I really started to understand what it was about and. I finally was able to get all my work uploaded into it and I understood that with this e-portfolio you had to, you know, go take a look back at your writing, your first writing, your second writing, you know, all that stuff. And I thought it was really cool because we had to, you know, go back into it and kind of fine tune our writing. It's called the final polish draft, which I thought was really cool because to see how far I've came from, you know, my first writing project to my last, you know, the final reflection. I tremendously grew. I feel like I've put in countless hours to help me, which I think that was the biggest thing because I feel like you have to put time in to get better at something that you want to get better at. And I feel like writing for me has always been, you know, a super soft point in my academics and this year I kind of felt like that I really wanted to, you know, take a grasp on it and try to put my best foot forward. And I feel like I really did that this this semester by, you know, kind of looking at my first writing and being able to revise it and kind of be like, wow, like, I guess you really have like came a long way from seeing what I've revised. Another thought that I thought was really, you know, cool was to be able to see your group mates in the aspect of, you know, you kind of got to hang out with them. I know it's online or whatever, but the being in a, a class where it's online and then we had to go into the library, you know, and meet up with our group mates and kind of go into depth about, you know, this topic was really cool because you could tell that it really, really meant a lot to our group members that were participating in it. And... The fact that, you know, we had a girl in a, in a frat was extremely cool. And, you know, you, you could tell the passion on her face when she wanted to go into depth about it. And it all kind of got us just really excited. And, you know, I thought that was something special because, you know, you're not, not too often do you get to, like, do something like that where, you know, someone really wants to kind of go in depth about what they're doing, right? Because it's... It's like her culture being in the frat, and I thought that was extremely cool that we could kind of help her go into better in depth about that. And I know each one of our group mates really wanted to do it, so I thought that was extremely cool. And to wrap things up, I would just like to say that 
I really, I really enjoyed this semester of English. You know, it's taught me a lot of different things and a lot of things that I will most definitely be taking with me onto my other classes, not just English, but, you know, just from my study habits that I've gained from this class to all, you know, getting homework done on time, doing all that stuff, making sure you're staying on top of things. I really appreciated kind of, you know, looking deep into it. So thank you.